Dear students and parents, welcome to the Test Prep Card channel. And in this video, we're going to discuss about NIT Hamirpur. So the following topics will be discussed in this video, such as the basic overview, the required cutoff for various courses on off offer by the NIT Hamirpur, which is in Himachal Pradesh. And then we are also going to discuss the various scholarships available in this particular institute. So let us begin this video. But first, I would request you to please complete this video till the end. And in case you have any queries left after that, you can just post it in the comment section and your answers will be addressed by the test prep card team. So let us begin this video. And first, you need to have a basic overview about NIT Hamirpur, which is in Himachal Pradesh. So NIT Hamirpur uh, was actually established back in 1986. So NITH, as it can be referred as, was established in 1986 and it's a deemed university offering 35 courses across five streams. So if you are looking forward to seek admission in it, I hope you have filled your JE mains form because that is what is required for seeking admission into the BTEC courses on offer. But there are a lot of other courses, let me tell you that, such as MBA, MSc, MTech, and even doctoral programs like PhD, which can actually be pursued at the NIT Hamirpur. So let's begin uh, with that. But first of all, we need to have a basic overview about NITH as it is also known as. So it was established uh, more than three decades back in 1986. And then uh, you need to know that it's a public institute and the online mode of application is there. So the entrance exam based criteria is there. JE is there for the gra graduate courses, the UG courses and for the postgraduate courses, there is a great exam as well. Scholarships are many on offer. I would be telling you later in this video. So please stay tuned to this video to complete it and have any queries, please post it down the below. And also you can uh, find the in the link in the description uh, to many of important information. So please do that. Let's begin. And uh, what you need to know apart from the basic overview about this National Institute of Technology Hamirpur, uh, what you need, else you need to know is that uh, there are various courses on offer BTEC. Let me just give you an idea of the uh, fees that is actually asked for. So annually, the fees is 1.45 lakhs about in BTEC courses. The only eligibility that you need to have is that you have to have a 75% aggregate score or above than that in 10 plus 2. And you should have a good score at the JE mains exam as well. Then M MBA courses are on offer, which has a fee close to about one lakh annually. Graduation with 50%, whichever discipline you are from and the CMAT exam you need to clear. So this I am also telling you apart from the eligibility, the required entrance examinations. So the MTEC courses, which again has a fee annually of one lakh or above than that, you should be passing your graduation and you should also have a good valid GATE score for that. For MSc, the fees is much lesser. It's less around 39,000 per year and you need to be a uh, graduate for that in that relevant discipline. So this is the eligibility for the courses I am uh, telling you and as well as the required entrance examinations for the same. So Masters of Architecture is also on offer just like Bachelors of Architecture is there alongside the BTEC courses. The fees for it is about 94,000 a year and graduation is required in Bachelor of Architecture itself. Uh, so then there is the Bachelor of Architecture course that I didn't mention alongside BTEC, which requires a 10 plus two. And the fees for it is same as the BTEC, which is 1.46 lakhs a year. So BTEC plus MTEC if you want to do. So then again, you have to have this. Uh, this is an integrated course on offer and 10 plus 2 with 75% aggregate score minimum you are required for that. And obviously a good valid JE main score. So this, this was an overview about the eligibility required for the various courses on offer. But going into the specializations, the BTEC courses, which is the graduation in engineering, you can specialize in various fields apart from Bachelor of Architecture that I just mentioned. You can also specialize in civil engineering, computer science engineering, electronics and communication engineering, electrical engineering, material science and engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering. So all these are the specializations available at NIT Hamirpur for all of you who are seeking, going to seek admission into it. And Bachelor of Architecture is obviously there. So BTEC, there are seven different specializations 
just that i just named while there is just one specialization in bachelor of architecture and the required entrance exam is obviously je mains so eligibility criteria is that uh, candidates must have passed 10 plus 2 in science stream with maths from a recognized board so the selection criteria for btech as well as the b architecture program is based on the je mains entrance exam followed by a joint j o s a a counseling so moving ahead on the other courses on offer the mtech courses there are various streams of specialization let me tell you that i would just name a few for your reference transportation engineering structural engineering geotechnical engineering then there is electrical engineering computer science and engineering mobile computing interestingly environmental engineering then another stream is signal processing and engineering control uh, power systems is there cad and cam is there as a specialization for the mtech courses on offer by nit hamirpur so uh, overall there are 18 such specializations on offer for the pg programs in engineering that is mtech material science and engineering is there chemical engineering energy technologies so all these specializations are available there are other courses on offer uh, such as mba and msc so mba human resource management marketing management operations management finance management for this you need graduation in any stream but with 60% marks at least msc is only in chemistry physics and photonics sciences plus mathematics and science scientific computing for this you need to have a uh, minimum marks of 60% again in the discipline that is concerned so this these were the courses on offer at the postgraduate level but you also need to uh, know about the phd courses on offer if you may be interested in you are eligible for that having a pg program in the relevant discipline structural engineering transportation engineering geotechnical engineering environmental engineering water resource engineering uh, geology computer science engineering vlsi design optical fiber communication so a host of these engineering phd's are available for seeking admission into it you need to have a master's degree in engineering or technology uh, with uh, 60% marks or equivalent but for the other streams uh, such as uh, chemical engineering again uh, chemistry physics mathematics humanities and social science uh, so these are also available so physics maths chemistry and humanities and social science to pursue a phd for that you need to have a master's degree in relevant discipline with uh, minimum 60% marks in aggregate so uh, this is the differentiation amongst the phd in the engineering or technical section or the uh, pure sciences such as chemistry physics maths then you can also have a uh, energy and environmental engineering phd or a material science and engineering phd in which you have to have a master's degree in engineering with 60 percent marks same as the ones i mentioned earlier so these were the list of uh, phd courses so required entrance exam for mba is cmat and cat and for msc in uh, physics chemistry as i named it's jam and also for mathematics so joint and admission uh, test that is there iit jam now required cutoff for nit uh, hamirpur let me discuss that opening rank round 1 i would be quoting and i would be ending for a particular stream with the closing rank of round 6 so for chemical engineering it's 20000 to 37000 for civil engineering it's 10600 to 36000 then for computer science and engineering it will be 7200 to 9600 electrical engineering it will be 14000 to 22000 and electronics and communication engineering it will be 9600 to 15750 for engineering physics, it will be from 5,600 up till 32,000. So there is much more scope in that as you can gauge by the uh, by the whole range of ranks that sought admission. Material science and engineering 30,000 to 43,000. Mathematics and computing from 80, uh, 8,800 to 14,304. And mechanical engineering last but not the least from the opening rank round 1 of 70,165 to the closing rank of round 6 of 26,773. So these were the required cutoff for NIT Hamirpur that you need to keep in mind. Uh, let me tell you about the application process for NIT Hamirpur. It is pretty much clear that at BTEC level, you need to have, appear, uh, have appeared for JE mains with a good rank and then followed by JOSA counseling. MTech, you need to have appeared in the gate exam, followed by counseling for the same conducted by the institute itself. And for PhD courses, you need to download the application from, from, from the official website of NIT Hamirpur, fill all the details, select the research area and submit the application form. So that's it. Documents required will be a host of documents from your photo ID proof to valid gate net certificate and all the other kind of certificates that may be required for a UG or a PG course. So scholarships, there are a lot many scholarships, but I will keep it uh, to a bare minimum because there are more than 20 uh, seven scholarships uh, they are on the official website of NIT Hamirpur just to name a few 
uh, you need to be aware about uh, that there is a top class education for SC category students by Ministry of Social Justice, uh, which uh, gives you a good enough uh, 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 what you can call it as a scholarship per month. Uh, then there is a national fellowship and scholarship for higher education. Merit ka means scholarship is there by the Ministry of Minority Affairs. For ST students, it's by Tribal Affairs. And then the post metric uh, scholarship is there by the Ministry of Minority Affairs. But these are more selective scholarships. And then there is a, a few specific ones like Kalpana Chawla Chhatravati Yojana, which is by Himachal Pradesh University, 15,000 per year it is. And uh, then there are other scholarships by NCIT and CBC scholarships. NTPCS, NTPC scholarship is there as well. ONGC scholarship is there. ONGC merit scholarship is there on offer at NIT Hamirpur. And then uh, there is uh, other scholarships uh, like uh, Samsung Star scholarship, which is uh, 2 lakhs per annum towards expenses of tuition fee, hostel fee and mass charges as well. So there are other scholarships you can refer to the NIT official website, NIT Hamirpur website. And uh, just to end this video, if you have any queries, please do put up in the comment section. For the NRI cutoff, please uh, find the link in the description below. And I would like to wish you at the end of this video, thank you so much for watching the video. Keep tuned and subscribe to Test Prep Card channel. And I wish you all the best for the upcoming examination and your results. And I hope you seek admission in the uh, best possible institute. And keep watching and thank you so much.